Hi, I'm Sam from EVs Enhanced, and today I'll be showing you how to use our high voltage battery pairing tool. We've been selling these since the middle of 2018, and it performs flawlessly on all original shaped leaf models. We've recently added support for the new Z1 models as well. Here we have a Nissan Leaf ZDO that came into our shop with a low capacity high voltage battery. To remedy this, we have swapped in a healthy unopened battery pack that still has its original lithium battery controller or LBC fitted inside. Because of this, there is no need for the LBC to do any relearning as it already has all of the correct data stored in it. For example, the bars on the dash and the state of health are already correct for this replacement battery without needing to alter anything. The problem we have with fitting the entire battery pack is that Nissan put in an intentional obstacle so that only their dealers could do this. The LBC in the battery and the vehicle control module or VCM in the car appeared to each other. If the VCM doesn't detect the original LBC then it triggers a fault code and the car runs in limp mode with severely limited power. On the dash we can see the warning lamp to indicate a problem and if a scan tool was used to check the codes in the vehicle you would find a fault in the VCM called P3102, which indicates an invalid battery. For demonstration purposes, we'll use Leaf Spy Pro to show this fault code is currently in the vehicle, and it is an active fault which can't be cleared. Now I will plug in our battery pairing tool and say goodbye to this problem. Now that we have our battery pairing tool plugged in, all we have to do is press this button here and the fault code has been cleared. As you'll see, the warning light is now gone, the car is no longer in limp mode and using Leaf Spy Pro we can verify the code is gone also. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, have a look at our website evisenhance.com.